Okay, so picture this. You're at the second portage on a four day canoe camping trip with your friends. You're not even a hundred meters down the portage trail after throwing your rod over your shoulder and you realize that your crankbait hooks are stuck one in your backpack strap, the other in your raincoat. And you and your canoe partner are left on the trail by yourselves to fix it. Lure wraps will save you from this problem, which is not only annoying, but can actually ruin expensive gear like waterproof bags and coats and jackets. This thing is fairly inexpensive. This it happens to be a uh, Rapala brand. Um, and I like it because it's got this little metal hook, which attaches to the hook keeper on your rod. And then that keeps it from sliding up and down and twisting around on the bait. By the way, my name's Adam and I'm a paddle head. And through adventure fishing, Ben and I have learned a thing or two or five. That's what I'm talking about today in this video. So you get the hooks out of your backpack and your jacket and you make it to the next lake. Your friends are in the water already, casting, catching fish. And by the time you get in the water and you're ready to start fishing, they're yelling at you, hey, time to go, no time to fish. Let's get a move on. You haven't even had a chance to make a cast. Trolling is a technique where you drag your lure behind the boat while you paddle. I actually made a video, a pretty in-depth one about trolling and I talk about what I like to use and why I do it. So I highly recommend you check that out. It'll be linked right up here. But basically it's gonna help you catch more fish on trips when you got somewhere to be. So you've made it to the next portage. You pull all your stuff out and it's your turn to carry the boat now. And you see one of your other friends who've put the canoe on their head and they have the fishing rod underneath the boat resting on top of the seat and the yoke of the canoe. So you do the same and you get to your first incline and that rod slips out, falls down, hits the ground. Twist ties are an absolute savior for this problem. These ones are by a company called Night Eyes, Night Ease, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but they're great for securing uh, long and awkward items like fishing rods or paddles. You can bundle paddles and fishing rods together, wrap these around or you can put your rods underneath your canoe on top of the seat and the yoke and just wrap these around those to keep the rods secure. Okay, so you've finished your last portage. You're on the lake you're gonna camp at and you have some time to fish. So you get out on the water, you open up your tackle box and then you think, what do I use? You try out all the baits you brought cause you're not sure what you wanna use and you realize you've spent the last 15 or 20 minutes tying knots instead of actually fishing. So for this, you're gonna to wanna to stick to fewer and more versatile baits. Decide before the trip what you wanna fish for and where you're most likely to catch them. And then base your lures around that. Here's some basic lures you can use. Paddle tail, it's a little spinner, spoons, crank baits. These are great baits that I highly recommend. Ben and I are gonna do a video about what we normally bring to pack light for a fishing trip. So when that's ready, you can check that out right up there. So I'm curious to know, have you ever experienced any of these problems while fishing in the backcountry? And if so, what did you do about it? Anything different from what I did? Let me know in the comments. Travel is done. You made it to your campsite. You were fishing on the lake, so you put your rod down because you're not doing any more portages. You got the tip hanging just over the front side of the boat. As you're pulling up to your campsite, the tip of that rod gets caught on a bush and the momentum of the boat pushes that rod past its bending capacity and your rod breaks. This has happened to me before, not exactly like this, but I've had a rod, a rod break on trip. It doesn't feel good because now you've got to carry this thing around for the rest of the trip and for nothing because you can't use it. So there's two solutions to this problem. The first one, I always bring two fishing rods. Fishing is too important to me to go on a trip and have a rod break and not have one to use. So I have a backup always. The second thing is use ugly sticks. You can buy them for pretty inexpensive at Canadian Tire. Ben and I have used and abused those rods. Thank goodness for ugly sticks. And I've yet to personally have a failure. I'm sure it happens, but I haven't had it happen. And they work great for the kind of fishing that you're going to be doing on a trip. You don't have to worry about them breaking. So check those out for sure. If you follow these tips, I promise you will suck at fishing less and it will be a more enjoyable experience for you. So thanks for watching and check out this video here where we use some of these tips. Hi.